God made the gospel simple. He made it so that all of us can understand. It doesn't matter if you were literate or illiterate. It doesn't matter if you're educated or uneducated. It doesn't matter if you have a high IQ or a low IQ. God made the gospel very simple for us. And religion and the devil has complicated it. The old saying, the devil is in the details. Well, that's true. I know that there is a lot in God. And in he did a lot to bring us to this salvation. But he made it simple for us. We don't have to know everything. We just have to know the one that does. And people today, knowledge has increased so much that they're depending on knowledge instead of on God. They think they're depending on God through the Bible and learning. They think if they learn truth and that they can learn the way Jesus was and they can try to be like him, that they can be saved. But they're searching the scriptures for and then they think they have eternal life. And like Jesus told the Pharisees, and those are they that testify of me, but you will not come to me that you might have life. They think they come to him today when they read about him and they say, oh, I gave my heart to the Lord and he filled me with the Holy Spirit. No, you think you did. But, and even if you did initially, they put you in Bible churches to get you eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. What does the Bible teach? What is good and what is evil? Instead of eating from the tree of life, which is the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ. And so don't let the devil complicate your salvation, your walk with God or the gospel. Unplug your mind and recharge your soul. Let Christ lead you and guide you. It's hard today because we live in an analytical, technological, highly knowledgeable and educated world, but it hasn't helped anybody. In fact, most people are going crazy in this world. They have to take so many antidepressants and all kinds of things to relax them. They have to have mental health providers and they're just going crazy because all this knowledge is natural knowledge. And even if it's about the spirit, it isn't giving you the spirit. God seeks for us that love him and want to obey him. We come to him like a child coming to a father. And we just trust in the father and he knows everything and he takes care of everything. He takes care of us. He knows what we need. We don't know what we need. That's why the gift and promise of God to us is the Holy Spirit and not a book about him. Now, you can read the Bible for history, and it's good to know the history of God and his people and what he did to bring forth the seed of Jesus Christ. But he didn't stop talking to us 2,000 years ago, which is the last recorded histories in the Bible. And even the revelation that still has some prophecy to be fulfilled, most of it has already been fulfilled, but it is so mixed up and it's not in chronological order and you can't get understanding through that. You might get a little, but you don't get enough to really deliver you. Only the Holy Spirit can deliver you. Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, will deliver you. And only then can you be delivered. So the gospel is simple. Repent from living after the flesh, even religious flesh. Ask Jesus to fill you with the Holy Spirit. And when he does, then be led only of Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. He will lead you. He will guide you. He will teach you all things that you need to know for your life. It's learn, It's good to learn some principles about how to fight a good fight, but you can't learn it from the Bible. If you could, there wouldn't be over 45,000 different denominations, and all of them are full of sin. All of them are contradictory, even to the own scriptures that they claim to be going by. And so you have to get it from the Spirit. The Spirit of God puts His will in you, and you know by the Spirit. So just remember one thing. God made the gospel very simple for us. Even a wayfaring fool cannot err therein, as some of the wise writers wrote. There's so much wisdom written in the Bible, but you're trying to understand it and keep it through your natural mind. Well, the natural mind is unacceptable to God. The flesh has been corrupted. The only thing that's not corrupt is the Holy Spirit, the seed of Jesus Christ, who fills us with the Holy Spirit. Without the Spirit, we're not of him. 
when you have the Holy Spirit in you, then you have the righteousness of God in your soul, and you can live for God by this spirit that he gives you. You can't do it by trying to keep the Ten Commandments. God keeps his law in you. He tells you what to do and what not to do by the spirit. You know by the nature that he has put in you, his will. He doesn't let you do ungodly things and sin like they tried to tell the Apostle Paul said, uh, oh, then you're saying that we should sin, that good might come. And that's a lie. That's a natural minded person. That's a religious person. We don't sin. The Lord will not let us sin. If we sin, he will correct his children. And if you won't be corrected, then eventually he will just have to let you go because you won't obey him. So God gives the spirit to them that obey him. If you love him, you will obey him. You might not always want to because you're in a world of hurt in this world and you have a flesh that's contrary to the will of God. But you will love him and you will obey him because you know he has your best interest at heart. And so keep the gospel simple. Don't let them complicate it. Don't get some truth and then just go crazy like you have the truth that the Bible is an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast, that we're to be led by the spirit. And we're not under the law. That was a curse because we couldn't keep it. But don't take that and use it for an occasion to the flesh and then start figuring everything out for yourself and making some kind of new weird doctrine and doing whatever you want to do. And don't do that. You always stay connected to your creator through your savior, Jesus Christ, who leads you and guides you by the Holy Spirit. And if you will stay in tune with him, walk with him, talk with him, always go to your heart. He deals with you from the inner man. And you will know by the inner man, right from wrong, some things, it's neither right nor wrong, some natural things, but some things do matter. And those things you need to go by the witness of the spirit in you. And he, if you have a big question in life, you know, like who to marry, where to work, where to live, things like that. Then you pray and ask the Lord, if you have to fast and pray, and he will give you an answer. It might take a while, but he will. He always has to be. And then, and he may speak to you. He may give you a dream. You may just wake up some morning and just know all of a sudden. So he makes the gospel simple for all of us. In fact, the people that are very highly intelligent, they have a hard time living for the spirit because their intellect, their great knowledge, their holiness interferes with doing the will of God. They're too smart. They're eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, trying to do good instead of eating from the tree of life, which is the Holy Spirit and letting the flesh die and letting the spirit of God live in us. I hope you understand. I know some of you children that have the Holy Spirit, you do understand. Some of you are trying to come into this life in Christ and you're struggling. And some of you just outright reject it. But God gives us all a chance. And I pray that you choose the living God through the spirit and not the way of the tree of knowledge and good and evil. It's okay to know about God, but that isn't the same as knowing him. It's more important to know him than to know about him. His blood.